Claudia Romero was on the beach when a shark fin made an unwelcome appearance in the water, and she watched lifeguards spring into action. Oh, they were like on track as soon as they heard the jet skis went out, the boats came out, the lifeguards started patrolling the whole shore, and they were like, you can't go um, more than knee deep because they were just trying to keep us safe, you know? Lifeguard Frank Falcone was the one who spotted it. We saw a fin coming through the area, you know, about 25, 30 yards offshore, and it was just steady pacing and it was above the surface. Falcone and his fellow lifeguards immediately cleared swimmers from the water, red flagged the shoreline, and alerted nearby beaches. Falcone has been a lifeguard here for a decade, but only noticed a shark for the first time last year. As shark sightings increase, so too does the training for Falcone and other lifeguards. We actually train our lifeguards in identifying dorsal fins uh, of the different species. We have our shark patrol, which is a jet ski that comes to the shoreline uh, that can hit the closer areas of water where some of these sharks are being located. We have our bay constables uh, out on their boats. And we also have lifeguards walking up and down the shoreline, not only looking at swimmers, but looking at the water just for this sort of sighting. Hempstead Supervisor John Claven says the sightings shouldn't stop people from enjoying the beach, and it doesn't seem they have. I mean, they're out there. It's where they live. We're not letting the kids go too deep, but, you know, really? they can't come up here, so we're good.